Well, I thought I'd get some of my hay equipment ready today. Uh, I think I want to wash everything off, kind of uh, get it cleaned up this year. And once I get it washed, I'm going to grease it. I went ahead and uh, kind of adjust it back to the settings I use on first cutting as far as the in and out setting as the width. And uh, then once I lay it down, I'll adjust the angle of each side. All right, back probably been a little over a year ago, uh, Super Clean had sent me some products to try, and I did some videos on those. I'll go back and try to find them and put some links in the description. But um, they had reached out to me back around Easter and asked if I'd be willing to uh, use their products in some more videos. <coughs> I said that'd be fine because I thought it's some really good stuff. We'd been buying it to use ourselves since they'd seen it. And, uh, you know, I feel confident in it being something that you all would like. So we're going to put it in the pressure washer um, foam gun, spray it on, and rinse these, this hay equipment off because I don't want to brush it and get my um, brush dirty. And this will cut everything off pretty good. I don't want to get grease in our regular car wash brush is the reason we're doing it. But we'll get started. I don't know how well you can tell, but you can tell the old gritty dust and things on this thing, on this old hay rake. It's two years old and they've been washed, so we'll see how well that super clean cuts it off. that cleaned it up pretty good i can't tell any difference when i scrub it with my finger versus just what it is so i didn't have to brush it or anything and that was the diluted version by spraying it out of that foam cannon uh, if you wanted it full strength you could but i don't recommend doing that on paint it does have mixing instructions um on the bottle or and on their website but what I used is the super clean original formula. Pretty good stuff. Watch this water squirt out. That's why you... Oh, it didn't do it down there. There it goes. I don't know if y'all can see it. That's why you want to grease something after you wash it. This thing's got plenty of grease fittings on it. That's one thing I do like. So many things have sealed bearings and that type of stuff now. And I'm not a fan of that. Taking a lot of grease for that and there it goes.
you know, sure which settings I use. And that gives you a wider opening in the back for your wind rows. And you can also bring it farther apart in the back. Shoo, <coughs> if need be. These valves here just lock it out for transport. Got one more grease fitting right in there, but I don't believe I can get on it. And that one don't really turn any other than when you're adjusting it, so I'm not gonna worry with it. Uh, let's see. I need to get, yeah, I got that on that side. Yeah, that's got them all. I guess we'll go get the, get the tether next. But this is a new Holland Pro Cart 819, and I have been extremely pleased with this hay rake and how it performs. It does a great job. This thing is an absolute mess. So this will give that super clean a pretty good test. Pretty good test. Trouble, you can't spray that stuff off with just water. Even a, a pressure washer won't clean it good um, by itself. But that super clean sort of dissolves that stuff off the, or it sticks to the paint and it comes right off. And if you go to trying to brush it, you're gonna get into grease and things like I said earlier. So uh, we'll soak her down and uh, see how it turns out. Pretty dirty, pretty dirty.
can get under them wheels better and get the underside of it sprayed off some. We'll get that super clean soak inside of them wheels after I got the worst of it out and rinse it off good again. This thing is an absolute co mess. Covered up. Covered up. Looks a lot better than what it did. A whole lot better. Oh, super clean cuts that stuff loose pretty good. I mean, you could have got a lot of it with the pressure washer, but I don't think hardly as good and clean as it is unless you brushed it.